All right, Shalom. I would like to open up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, real well, and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the whole elect. And in today's lesson, I have an article dealing with this uh, this uh, uh, disease, which is labeled as disease X. And also, we understand you know, the scriptures speak upon you know, that there will be pestilences in these last times that the Lord will send forth pestilence, you know, as judgments. Okay, so um, I want to grab this first. I believe it's in uh, Jeremiah 28 and uh, and date. Uh, this is uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war. It's like, excuse me. Let me start over from the top. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old bo prophesied both against many countries and and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So we understand, you know, according to the signs that our Lord Yahweh Shai spoke upon. Okay, when the disciples inquired about the signs of his coming, that what you have wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, so on and so forth. So also we understand that before the end of this current world comes, okay, before Yahweh Shah returns, that certain plagues, okay, will be taking place in the earth. You know, and here in this article, in this lesson, we're dealing with the plague of pestilence. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's grab that in uh Matthew the uh the uh, 24th chapter, and uh, we'll start at verse 7, and these are words in the red letters. So these are the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. So ultimately, we understand that, you know, leading up to Yahweh Shai's return, okay, certain events will be taking place, such as the earthquakes in diverse places, famines, war wars, rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, okay, and pestilences, man. You see, in the ultimate, what does Yahweh Shai have to say about all this? In verse 8, he says what? All these are the beginning of sorrow. So ultimately, we understand that when we see certain things come to pass, that ultimately it is only the beginning of sorrows. All right, when we see things like this, when we see the earthquakes, all right, in diverse places, we, we know, all right, according to Scripture, according to the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai, that what? It's only going to get worse from that point on. So, um... We're going to uh, hop straight into this article, um, you know, read through the article, and as always, get a few scriptures, and those me that'll be the lesson, okay? But as you see, the headline reads, a health officials warn disease X could cause international epidemic. One factor is feeling the threat, and uh, this uh, article is released November 15th, all right, 2023, a right, year, a uh, year, uh, Hopefully, year that all these prophecies come to pass. All right. It says in 2017, the World Health Organization added disease X to a list of pathogens that should be studied in the coming years, according to Bloomberg. It isn't a specific disease, but more of a warning that a pathogen is likely to emerge related to changes in climate and way of life that could spark a pandemic. When the COVID, excuse me, when the CV-19 virus began circulating in 2019, this was one example of a disease X. Excuse me. And thanks, thanks to research from scientists and preparation for such diseases, uh, a jump shot was created in an up, unprecedentedly quick time. It says, but another similar disease could be just around the corner. It says, what's happening? It says, the earth is heating up. According to the uh, Copern Copern excuse me. Copernicus Climate Change Service via The Guardian, and it is expected that 2023 will end up being the hottest year ever recorded on the planet. With rising temperatures fueled by human-caused pollution comes a number of associated extreme weather conditions, including flooding, droughts, heat waves, and wildfires. And ultimately, we understand that, you know, when these natural disasters take place, such as these floodings, these hurricanes, okay, so on and so forth. We understand that these are sent from Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. 
Because when we go to Isaiah... Chapter uh, 28 and verse 2. It says, Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell and as a destroying storm, excuse me, which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down the earth with the hand. So ultimately, we understand that according to the scripture, that Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is in control of the storms, all right, the very different natural disasters. And ultimately, it's Yahweh by Shemiah Shai that's sending forth these floodings, man. And once again, any other natural disaster. It says, uh, Euro News Green has identified seven factors resulting from global heating that could lead to the next worldwide health crisis. With animals living closer to humans because of habitat destruction from wildfires and deforestation, and with humans en encroaching on nature for agriculture, there comes an increased risk of diseases jumping from animals to humans. Elsewhere, thawing ice at global ice caps is exposing pathogens that have been kept underground for thousands of years, and flooding can lead to contaminated water entering drinking supplies. Meanwhile, rising temperatures increase the number of areas where disease-carrying mosquitoes and ticks can thrive, thus making it more likely for humans to become infected. It says hotter waters also encourage the growth and spread of algal blooms, which can be toxic for animals and humans. It says finally, Euronews Green warned that viruses will adapt to become heat-resistant, leading to stronger pathogens that can evade human immune responses. The increased stress placed on a human body from heat waves or displacement because of extreme weather can also lead to weaker body defenses. It says, why is this so concerning? A 2022 study found that 58% of known infectious diseases are made worse by the changing climate. After witnessing the societal impact the CV pandemic has had on the earth and the deaths and long-term illness abroad, there is fear of another such event occurring in the coming years it says what can it says what can be done to prevent these diseases funding for scientific research is vital with the cv19 pandemic proving just how quickly solutions can be found for previously understudied or unknown viruses that can have a grave impact on humans but since the euro news green identified a number of climate related factors that could lead to the spread of disease reducing planet warming Pollution is perhaps the most important thing that can be done right now. It says, while this ultimately lands at the doorstep of global environments and international industry, there are individual choices that can help reduce global, that can, excuse me, that can help reduce human-caused global heating. It says, swapping meat for plant-based alternatives uh, once a week can slow the demand for meat products. That lead to deforestation and methane pollution from livestock, for example. Meanwhile, recycling, utilizing renewable energy sources, and avoiding dirty uh, fuel-powered cars can help prevent pollution, which then enters the atmosphere and traps heat from industry, power, and transportation sectors. And also, that's the end of the article right there. Lord, I can put this link. <clears throat> This link to the article in the description box. But without further ado, you know, we're going to get some more scriptures and that'll be the lesson. All right. Let's grab this in the Apocrypha. And, um. The book of uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 50. It says, For many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And we understand that ultimately. Hey, these pestilences are one of the many judgments that Yahweh Bashem Yashai is sending down upon the earth in these last days, along with the sword, the earthquakes in diverse places, these uh, other various different natural disasters, famines, so on and so forth. And we understand that Yahweh Bashem Yashai is sending these judgments first and foremost because also when you read 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, it says what? That wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, and also like this scripture say, Right, because ultimately they have walked in great pride. So ultimately, we understand that through these plagues and through these judgments, that ultimately Yahweh Bashem Yashai is going to bring the pride of this place low. You see, the pride of the earth low. Okay, because the majority of the people in this earth are proud in heart. 
You see, and we understand that pride is hateful before Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. So ultimately, the Lord is sending plagues and judgments to correct our right, the pride in the earth. Okay. Now, real quick, let's see what um the Edomon has to say about the word misery. It says, uh, state of grievous affliction. Condition of external unhappiness. It says uh, from old French, miserable, miserable situation. It says misfortune, distress. It says um, from, excuse me. It says from Latin, miseria, wretchedness. From miser, wretched, pitiable. It says, meaning condition of one in great sorrow or mental distress. So also, we understand that ultimately, Yahweh Bashmi Asai is bringing sorrows upon the earth. Hey, did we not read back in the, uh, uh, Matthew 24 chapter, the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai? Okay, when he's speaking about wars, rumors of wars, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places, our nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines. Did not Yahweh Shai say that these are the beginning of sorrows? See, so we understand that these this pestilence or these pestilences, all right, and these other plagues, okay, are going to bring about sorrows. But ultimately, this is just the beginning, okay? We know that ultimately from here on, it's only going to get worse, you see? Um, let's grab this in the book of um, uh, Second Esdras. Chapter 15, which I'm straight to the point, in uh, verse 49, it says, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. So, also, these plagues that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is sitting in these last times, these judgments that are coming forth from the Lord, are also going to bring about great death, man. See, we understand according to scripture, hey, the Heavenly Father said in Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, what? He said that he kills and he makes alive. He wounds and he heals, man. So ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is in control of who lives and who dies. And ultimately, who's whole and who's sick, man. Okay? And we understand that with this pestilence, okay, a lot of people are going to be diseased, all right, or put in a state of sickness. You see? And we understand that with that, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai can bring them to death, man. You see? Um, let's get this in the book of um The Book of uh, Ezekiel chapter fourteen and verse nineteen. Ultimately in this uh here in Ezekiel fourteen, you know, uh the chapter goes through you know, the Lord is going through a lot of judgments, you know, that he's sinning in these last times, ultimately for the wickedness that has taken place in the land, but ultimately, here in verse 19, as we read, all right, the Heavenly Father says, or if I send pestilence, or if I send the pestilence into that land and pour out my fury upon it and blood to cut off, to cut off from it, man, and be so we understand that, you know, the plagues, okay, and the pestilences that Yahweh Bashim Yashai, okay, and the judgment that you have watched me outside are going to send in these last days. They're not just there for no reason, okay? Ultimately, these are there to appease the wrath that you have watched me outside, okay? To, ex to execute the Lord's judgment, okay? So, also, when the Lord uh, uh, increases pestilence upon the earth and sends many, many more pestilences, guess what, man? A lot of people are going to die, man, and that's going to be their judgment. Okay, from Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. It says, verse 20, it says, Though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, said the Lord power, they shall neither they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. So also we understand that Noah, Daniel, and Job represent the elect. So at the end of the day, we understand that ultimately the elect is going to be good in these times, man. All right, the elect, they're going to be covered from all the plagues. All right, and judgments that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is sending in these last days. See, as far as those who are not a part of the elect, they're going to get caught up in the judgments. Hey, what did the Lord tell Jeremiah? He said, um, in uh, Jeremiah the 15th chapter, uh, Salakia. <coughs> uh, we'll start at uh, verse 1. It says, Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind cannot be toward this people. 
And also, that's going to what? Two, in these times, two-thirds of our people. Okay? It says, um, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. It says, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus said the Lord Yahweh, such as for death to death. And we understand that those pestilences are going to bring about death. It says, such as for the sword to the sword, such as for the famine to the famine. Uh, it says, uh, and such is for the captivity to the, ca to the, excuse me, let me slow down. Salakia. Let me restart that from the top. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 15 and two, it says, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, such is for death to death and such is for, ca excuse me, and such is for the sword to the sword and such as for the famine to the famine and such as for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint them four kinds, said the Lord Yahweh, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of earth to devour and destroy. So ultimately, all these are judgments coming from Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. Because one, all right, a lot of our people have to pay for the wickedness that they have committed, man. All right, they have to pay for the mockeries, all right, and the scornings, all right, that they have showed towards, to, excuse me, that, that they have showed towards Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. Okay, his word and their men. All right. So ultimately, a lot of our people have to pay, man. You see, and these are the various different judgments that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is sending in these last days. You see, and ultimately, hey, the Lord has those appointed, you know, to death. Okay, the, the Lord has those appointed to the sword, to the famine, to captivity, all right, to these various different spirits of vengeance, so on and so forth. All right, we're in the time of great judgment. <laughs> okay. And, um, as a matter of fact, let's get this in uh, Jeremiah, I believe. I always get Jeremiah 11 and Jeremiah 14 mixed up for some reason. Um, yeah, it's here in Jeremiah the 14 chapter. We'll close out here. It says, uh, Jeremiah chapter 14, beginning of verse 11. It says, Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Pray not for this people, for the good. And also, we're not praying for two-thirds of the nation of Israel, because also, a, a, when you go to second edge of the ninth chapter, it says what? Uh, be, be not uh, curious about how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved for whom the world is, roughly paraphrasing. So ultimately, at the end of the day, we're worried about the elect, all right, because two-thirds of the nation of Israel, their judgment is already set, okay? Verse 12, when they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. And ultimately, that's the thing. When Jake start going through hell, that's when they want to seek Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. At Hosea the fifth chapter, it uh, says what? The Heavenly Father said, uh, I will go into my place, and roughly paraphrase, and he said that the uh, the children of Israel would seek him early in their affliction. So the moment Jake start catching hell, that's when they want to seek after Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. But we understand that in these times that we're coming into, it's going to be too late. You see, because ultimately, with the word out there being preached right now, Okay, a, a, a Jake has liberty to repent and come back to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai. But we understand it's only set up for the remnant, for a remnant to come back to Yahweh Bashmi Ashai and not the whole nation on this side. Okay, all Israel is going to be saved in the kingdom. But on this side, okay, here in this current world, only a remnant is going to return. Okay, it says, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. You see, so ultimately, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is going to judge a lot of his people and a lot of the world, okay, by way of pestilence and other plagues, man. You see? So, I'm going to close out right there. I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the body. And I like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who wrote well and preach the truth, the truth of sincerity. Shalom to hopefully elect. And Lord, as I'll see you in the next lesson. Till then, Shalom.